While Nate fixes the hole that he created earlier, I have another one that I would like to repair. You're gonna start by sanding off any debris. Make sure to clean the area well so that the wall patch will stick. Press firmly. Take a heaping gob of spackle onto your putty knife and place it over the patch. Make sure to cover the whole patch and then some. Too much is better than not enough. Think of it like frosting the cake. So here we have a couple of nail holes. And they're actually protruding out a little, so first we'll want to push them back in and create a slight indentation. Then sand and clean the area. For small holes like this, I like to use my fingers to apply the spackle. But, if you don't like to get your hands dirty, the back end of a spoon works well. Once the spackle is dry, sand the area smooth and wipe away any dust. Now, just paint over it. Make sure you use broad, soft strokes to paint the area to avoid any lines in your paint. When replacing an outlet plate, make sure to have a screwdriver handy. Remove the old one and replace it with a new one. Don't over tighten the screw because it could crack. Now that our spackle is dry, it's time to prep for painting. Sand the patch until it is smooth and then clean the area and paint using long strokes. Don't worry, paint always dries darker. That wasn't too bad. Nope, minimal amount of effort. The hardest part was just waiting for all the, the paint and spackle to dry. Yep, that was it. Don't forget that all of the buyers that are coming to your house are gonna pay attention to those little tiny details, so make sure you're repairing those as they come along. Yep, and thanks for watching our show. I'm Nate. And I'm Steph.